Magnamalo is incredible. And my fellow hunters, and welcome to the Rise Demo the Second, featuring our Hellfire Shrouded Flagship Magna Malo, and he is absolutely ferociously fun. How can I put this? Well, I guess the best compliment that I can give him is I get Nergigante vibes. He is unbelievably brutal and punishing, yet he is also an insanely fun fight that is beyond satisfying to learn. I will admit that before I actually got to see him in game and have a go at him with my big stabby stick, I kinda was like, ah! Looks all right, I guess, but I'm not a huge fan of him visually. But no, now that he really has spent a lot of time destroying me, I am a big fan. I am sold. And as I said, Nergi vibes. The reason for that is he is beyond satisfying to learn and has a unique mechanic, Nergi's case the spikes, in Magnamelo's case the hellfire, that once you understand and hunt with that in mind, it becomes this just beautiful poetic dance that is truly incredible to overcome. And whoa, overcome I eventually managed to do, as you'll see for the rest of this hunt once I just let it play, but it was not easy, let me tell you. I thought I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever, you know, it's fine, I'm fairly practiced in Rise now, but no, until I got some sort of a handle on his moveset, he really took me by surprise, chiefly because he's so bloody fast for his size. He has the bulk, he has the power, that makes sense, but good lord, he can move. He can rocket boost himself with his own hellfire explosions, and hellfire, bloody hellfire! I am the god of hellfire! It is amazing. Different parts of him light up with it, and if you target those parts, he takes more damage, and eventually you can make them explode, and he doesn't like that. If you let all of him light up, he'll do his super attack, and again, you see the Nergigante spike. Example, like he has certain parts that start doing a thing and if you let them do the thing too long He does a big thing, but you can stop him by attacking the parts doing the thing and look I'll, I'll be real. I'm totally fine with that. He has an incredible enrage. His super attacks are just mesmerizing And genuinely, there is so much to say, but he is definitely a worthy flagship, and I can't wait to see if his weapons will be uniquely Hellfire. Hellfire initially seems to be like Blast Bite, but it has so many unique interactions with both him, explosions, other monsters, and the wire bug, and it really is its own fantastically unique mechanic, and really just, just, just enjoy, just enjoy it, just enjoy it, have fun, all right? Right? Because, good lord, ultimately he is fun, and that's what matters. And you can expect a full breakdown of how Hellfire works, and generally how to beat him, and how Magna works, and all you could want to do to get your kills coming most likely tomorrow. So keep an eye out on that. To put it in uh, Cotton's words, and you will see in uh, the Pro and Noob uh, coming uh, tomorrow. Oh yes, he is, and I quote, a Samurai Tiger pink wizard. So, kind of take that as what you will, but genuinely, bottom line for me, he is probably a 9 out of 10 fight, and what more could you ask for a flagship? And he really just exudes power. I cannot wait to see how he interacts with the monsters. Sadly, no turf wars or anything, and honestly, nothing new in the demo, except literally Magnamalo to hunt, but yeah, when I can finally see him do this... <laughs> In game, I am going to be a very, very happy hunter. So I'll let you get on with it, watch the rest of the hunt as it plays out, and be back a little bit later.
And there is the kill, 
13 minutes, 46 seconds. I am quite pleased with that, with a minute buffer to spare. But really, I mean, you saw all the little tricks that I had to use. And that's something I would like to say. Because of how tightly tuned this is, it really highlights and spotlights how effective using the environment and the endemic life is. It's because of the Beatles, because of Wyvern riding and the other monsters. It's because of how they interact so effectively with the monster that you're hunting that I was even able to do this. It really is just mmm. So there you go, guys. Rise looking better and better and better and better. And really let the 26 roll on soon. Like me, this, subscribe for more. Please consider spotting the channel on Patreon down below. And until next time, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.